Cleveland Monsters defenseman Jake Christensen is one of the top scoring blue liners in the American Hockey League this season. Signed by the Blue Jackets as an undrafted free agent following the 2019-2020 season, Christensen is in the middle of his second year as a pro. And even though his first year in Cleveland was a bit unorthodox due to the COVID-19 pandemic, he says it played a huge role in his development. Yeah, it was a weird season with COVID and everything. We um, had a lot of practice time, so I had a lot of time to work with the coaches on little details. Um, I'm actually very thankful for that. And, um, I just think I got a lot of time to look at video and learn and stuff. So um, last season was great. Um, it was definitely an adjustment period, um, a lot different league, but everyone's stronger. And uh, after that season, it was nice to go into the off season, kind of knowing what I had to improve on and having, having a good chunk of games um, to learn from. This season, Christensen has turned up the dial on his game. He's playing at a point per game pace, leading the Monsters with 17 points, and is in the top three in points by a defenseman in the AHL. Christensen credits the work he did this offseason, as well as what he continues to do with the Monsters coaching staff for the success he's having this year. Last season, it took me a bit to get going. I think I had maybe one point in 10 games, and then I started kind of settled in and uh, felt more more comfortable um, and then going into the off season just knowing what I had to do a lot knowing knowing what I can work on to get better and uh, really strive for better um, coming into this season I felt confident um, knowing what to expect and and then just um, getting an extra work after practice with the coaching staff and just trying to keep pushing for more every day um, we've had a little bit of uh, adversity at the start of the season here in Cleveland, but now um, we've, we, we've had a couple wins in a row and we're on a roll, so um, it's good. Blue Jackets Director of Player Personnel and Cleveland Monsters General Manager Chris Clark says it's Christensen's attention to detail defensively that has helped his game progress the most. We, we saw the talent, we saw the offense. The biggest thing that I see and you know, what our coaches see is his defensive side of the game. You know, he's really starting to, to figure that out and. You know, he, he's got an offensive mind, he wants to get up the ice, which is awesome, but it's something that he can't do every time. And he's, now he's picking the bright spots, he's picking the times of the game to, to get up the ice because his talent is, you know, red line in. Um, and he's been shooting the puck, he's got a cannon of a shot. Um, he reads the ice very well. Like I said, he's, his defensively, now he's really cleaning that part of it up, and that's what will eventually get him to the NHL because he's going he's gonna to get here, and how fast he gets here depends on where he goes with his side of the game but his his offense like I said he's leading the team he should have been player of the week actually uh, Gantz was this this past weekend um, but I, I think it could have been just as well been him as well. Clark and the Monsters staff aren't the only people emphasizing defense. Christensen himself says he's been working on refining his two-way game in order to make the next step toward the NHL. Yeah that's another thing that I've been I've been really focusing on is the defensive side of the game because I think that that's what's going to get me there to the next level and, and keep me there. So um, just just focusing on little things like that and taking care of your D-zone um, first before, before anything offensive is uh, really important and they emphasize that a lot here. As for when we might see Jake Christensen in Columbus, Clark says the chance will come as long as Christensen keeps playing the way he is. You know, it, it's, it's opportunity. You know, it's opportunity. I always tell the players, you got to be ready for your opportunity. You can't just hope for your opportunity. And when it comes and you're not ready, and then all of a sudden you get sent back down, and, and that you know, that's a, leaves a bad taste in your mouth. So, you know, when the opportunity is there, I think it's, he keeps growing the way he's growing. He's going to meet that opportunity. You know, when it, when it comes here, you know, if we have a, a, a spot in the lineup where it's, we don't want him to come up here and sit on the bench. You know, he can come up and practice and, and not get into games, but that's not great for a guy like him for his development. If he comes up, we want him in the game and playing in the right spot in the right position. Um, so it's something where I, I think he's going in the right direction, and when that opportunity comes, I'm sure he'll seize it.